Greetings and welcome to Harman Manyara's channel. It's a Wednesday. I hope you're doing well. Prof, how are you doing today? Today I'm doing well. Mm. Thank God for giving me life and health and energy to be on this show. Every week you said, let's not take it for granted that no, we are don't, alive. No, don't. Never ever. Never ever. Today's conversation is about the strugglers movement, talking about uh, Anwar Guru joining UDA and also whether uh, politics in this country is moving towards the right direction in terms of political parties being registered. Prof, let me start with what you tweeted with regards to Anwar Guru yesterday when yes. she joined UDA. You said Governor Waiguru is undressing to dive into a leaking swimming pool. By the time she is settled in UDA, the party will be a Kalenjin party. What My understanding mean? of Kenyan politics is that, first of all, it is too early to make such a decisions. Mm. And uh, I don't blame Anu Waiguru. She's a, an, she's a new politician. Mm. She's new in the game. Mm. Seasoned politicians will tell you it is too early to, make to such take such a drastic mm. move. And the second thing I'm trying to say, and I've said it before, mm. it is most likely UDA will remain a lift ballet party. Kalinjin. Yes. Even how movement doesn't show that there's growth yeah, in the this party? Is Kenya. You see how this is Kenya. Mm. Uh, we want Kenya to be different. Mm. I want Kenya where ODM will get 10 MPs from, 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 from Central. That's the Kenya I want to see. Mm. I want to see a Jubilee party in 2017 mm. getting 7 MPs from Nyanza. That's the Kenya I want to see. Mm. But the Kenya that there is for us today is a Kenya where when the heat is generated in the course of next year, UDA will remain a Rift Valley party. And where will the central MPs go to? That's when they will know they were joking. That's the time they will know they were playing with fire. But clearly Ruto is standing well in Mount Kenya region. That's what you think. You know, the very best, at the very best for Ruto, mm. the people can vote for him. Mm -hmm. That he can get. Mm -hmm. But they will not give him MPs. That you can take to any good bank. A president will be sitting without the parliament. No, he is ah. supposed to fish. He get from Mount Kenya, two, three, four. Mm. But not all of them the way people think. He can get two, three, four, five from Mount Kenya. Mm. Two, three, four, five from coast. One, two, three from western. Like that. Mm. And then finally you have some working numbers in parliament. Mm. And no, nobody is going to have working numbers in parliament. Mm. No. At absolute majority, no. Working numbers. But to hope that you'll get... All the Mount Kenya parties mm. to fold and walk to you with their hands behind mm. and enter UDA mm. is to do some little political dates. So what should these MPs and governors who want to revive for 2022 uh, still re stay in their seats? Should they just wait and see how if the, le the leaders people, play out? If I come from Mount Kenya region, mm. I will leave Ndindi Nyoro, Ishungwa, Rigadi, Alice Wahome. Mm. Those ones... That is their home. For them to do anything else will even be costly. Mm -hmm. Let them remain there. But for us, even if I can see Ruto is going somewhere, mm -hmm. I will wait a bit. I'll take my time and observe mm -hmm. and see the direction things take. Mm -hmm. Because now it's too early. And my guess is the Mount Kenya people could vote for Ruto. Mm -hmm. But they will insist on their own political parties. Do you think uh, Anwar Guru is betraying the president? People say they are close allies and moving from Jubilee, a party that is now an affiliate kind of the ODM party uh, and going to the UDA party. Does this show that she's betraying the president? Is that, is that when things are tough that you know you are friends. So for the president, it's time for him to see who are his true friends. Mm. Assuming this thing is going, you know, politics is a, is a game. Mm. Maybe she's just part of a, a game, mm. part of a scheme. You may never know. She could be part of a certain game. Some say that there are spies in other parties. Yeah, they, you could send these people there. They, they get all the secrets. And then when they leave, mm. that also has a psychological boost for the president. Mm. They couldn't be there and live in numbers. Kumbi oh. is stage managed. The way you said Ruto is planning to do when it comes to Jubilee. Yes. Moving it's, out Yeah, if he does. Numbers. But you see, for Ruto, mm. it is expected mm. that come February, when the, the, the transfer window is about close, or when you can no longer continue serving government. The transfer are, window. Yeah. <laughs> uh. they will, we, we already expect, mm. and even the people to move are already known. But I'm saying people like Anwar Guru could be doing this because they don't have the experience in politics. Mm. But they could also part of, be part of a game. Mm. But most likely it is uh, it's the inexperience that is bothering them. Oh. 
yeah, is that driving them in the wrong direction. Okay, let's speak about the strugglers now, the struggling uh, movement from a lobby group that comes and says they are here to counter the hustling narrative. Uh, what do you make of these strugglers that have come forward and, and, and supporting Raila What is there to speak that? about this? Mm. This is laziness, laziness, laziness. Even coping mm. requires some little intelligence. Surely. <laughs> and when I see the people who are there, mm. this country has a problem. Someone like Brian Werke. What are they doing? What, are, what is this they are doing? In other words, you are even telling the country mm. that this hustler thing is a very good thing. So you are trying something like hustlers. Mm. Very cheap, very lazy way of looking at things. Mm. They should disband that thing. Is it shameful to, the, to Raila Odinga? Of course. Of course. Having such a group. If I sit with Raila, I'm going to look for him. Mm. I'll tell him, can you disband such a thing? For and from now onwards, oh. I want to advise Ruto mm. and advise Raila. Mm. Don't let people form groups in your name. The way it was when mm. Moy was facing Syria's onslaught no. in the 90s. Operations G. Moy in. G. Yeah. This is not the time for that. Don't allow anybody, Ruto, mm. Raila, don't allow anybody mm. to form things in your name. Is this costing Raila? Yeah, this is rubbish. This is staying. It's actually struggle to say mm. this hustler thing is real mm. and it is good. Mm. So let's see if we can copy it a bit mm. and it pick it a bit mm. to make it. But it's less I, less I, less I was less listening to Ngunjiri and he was saying that now ODM is coping UDA even with a bottom up as much as uh, when Raila says he'll be giving uh, poor family 6,000, this is more or less like bottom up. Is this, what do you make of it? It's not necessarily as bottom up, but there's a way in which it is like you are you are you are reacting to things. Mm. You are playing catch up. I, I thought, uh, much as I agree with the idea of uh, mm. cash transfers, because it does happen in many places mm -hmm. we have said across the world. Yeah. I would have wanted a much more original idea, mm. uh, and let it come out as a very well thought out program, mm. complete with the figures. Mm and examples of where it has worked mm. and how it can work. Because then you are almost joining Ruto and just throwing around things. Oh. Yeah. You know, Ruto is just throwing around 100 billion, 50 billion. What are you talking about? Mm. What is the structure to carry that? Do you think Ruto came up with a better structure than Raila? No, and that's why nothing everything Ruto has is come coming up out and it seems like Raila no, is copying no, Ruto. No. Ruto has nothing like a program. What Ruto has done and give it to him is an in intelligent, clever, smart politician. Mm. He looks at this country and sees the amount of suffering, mm. the poverty, helplessness, mm. joblessness, mm. all these things, and he capitalizes on them mm. and throws a message of hope. Mm. It is always well received. You remember Trump? Yeah. Yeah, it's always well received mm. because people are in a state of hopelessness, mm. suffering. Anybody that comes with a message of hope. Mm. This is how even Hitler came up. Oh. In times like this, demagogues have a field day. Mm. So him, he's throwing away, he's throwing around hope, slogans. We can do it, we, we can, can make 50, it. 50, 100 billion, mm. what, what. Why do you want to tell me you'll create 4 million jobs? Kibaki said 500, he didn't even create. Mm. Uhuru and Ruto said 1 million. How many did they create? Apart mm. from the ones that are created by by, by where is Richard? By economists in yeah. textbooks, uh, which we don't see. Economic growth, 6%, yeah. but we don't see it in the pocket. Mm. Apart from that, where are the jobs? Mm. If you tell young people that we have created a million jobs, they will beat you, because there are no such a jobs. You think that so we're... Ruto should not say he will create 4 million jobs mm. by giving 100 billion. If mm. it was that easy, mm. everybody will be employed. Mm. He should tell us what is standing in the way of industrialization in this country. Mm. The dumping, what is his position mm. on, for example, second-hand clothes? Mm. Can he stand and tell Kenyans, I'll be like Rwanda, stand firm on second-hand second clothes? Mm. Will Americans allow you to do it? Mm. Kagame has done it. High taxes, you can't bring them. Yeah. It's a waste of time. Yeah, Kenyans tried, but then they... Mm. What is your say on even importation of things like this Mitumba things and other things? What is your say on dumping? Mm. All this Chinese rubbish in this country. No industry can grow. You tell me that, that I'm going to stop this dumping. Importation of this and this and this. Mm. I'll introduce this and these tariffs mm. within the context of the world economic order. Mm. 
And from that alone, I'll create so many jobs. Because there's no one who has said it's anything like that, does that mean that you're not seeing any hope in these see, politicians? You are throwing things that do not add up. For example, in agriculture, oh. you can bring food security while at the same time creating jobs. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Bring interventions in agriculture that will make young people leave university but go and do agriculture. Mm. Why do you think this young man here and this beautiful girl, why do you think they, these ones are behind the camera? Why do you think they don't want to go farming? Oh. Because farming is done in the 18th century type of farming. Mm. Farming is supposed to be highly mechanized, mm. highly industrialized. Mm. And all these university students will go and do farming mm. and create markets. Tell China, tell, let Ruto tell me. Mm. I'm telling the Chinese, at 400 billion about, mm. Uh, balance of uh, trade in their favor. Mm. 400 billion. I can't quite remember the figures. I'll ask Richard when he's The coming. businessman. Business yeah. slide, yeah. About 400 billion mm. against 10 billion. Mm. I'll tell them no. You'll continue building our roads and doing all these things. But you must open your market for our eggs. Mm. For, a certain, for a certain produce from this country. Mm. We must push our imports to China from the current 10 mm. or thereabouts to 8 billion. If you are to continue having contracts in this country, that way, agriculture will pay and it will employ young people. You know when you speak. You see, I hate, I hate to see people in whose hands we are about to entrust mm. the leadership of this country mm. and the future of our children mm. playing with a serious problem and throwing around slogans. I, I want to see solutions. People in the comments usually say you should be in government. Uh, I don't I know should. why, why you're not there yet. If I was given the finance docket to run this country. Mm. With a free hand, mm. you cannot know you, are you stay in Kenya. ODM leader Raila Odinga speaks of corruption, says that he's going to do away with corruption. It has been his agenda for about three elections that have passed. Will he be able to deal with corruption when you know him well? I know the heart is willing, but the flesh could be weak. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday service. <laughs> yeah. In other words, uh. the Raila of 2007 is not the Raila of today. He wants to. He may have the, 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 the intention because he has a vision for this country. Raila will know you cannot develop this country. So even when Ruto talks about jobs, about giving 100 billion, where will you get 100 billion when all of it is already stolen up there? Mm. What will reach at the bottom there? Come as it may be. Uh, all the money is stolen. No bottom up. He has not told me how he will stop the leakage. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Anwar Guru and the leakage. Yeah, yeah the leakage yeah. swimming into yeah, a leaking pool. Yeah, because that pool. swimming pool has some leakage underground. Mm. And you are diving. Mm -hmm. You'll dive and then you'll hit the, 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 the base of the swimming pool because the water has already leaked. Mm -hmm. uh, you see what I'm saying? Right so now. let the Ruto tell me, mm. this is how I intend to stop theft. Mm. Because I said, if I go to Mombasa and I put my my feet, like I told you, in the Indian Ocean. Uh. And I'm thinking, for one week, uh. I come from India, I come here, from, from, from the Indian Ocean, uh. at, in Mombasa. I give you my blueprint of how I'll stop corruption. Mm. There will be no theft in this country. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Let Ruto tell me, this is how I want to stop theft. How about stop Raila? Theft. Raila then? All of them. Now, once you have top, stopped the theft, mm. then you'll convince you will have that 100 billion to take where you are saying it will go. You mm. don't have it, it will have been stolen all of it. Mm. And the guys at the treasury, they know how to steal using budget. Mm. They will put everything in the budget so that they can follow it and steal it. Mm. Are we going to see this kind of politics for the next year or so? And Kenya yeah. is being deceived with different promises that are not going to be they, made? They, they, no, no, nobody will change this country, not among these people. Mm. Not now. Should we look for Mukisa Kitui? If you give Mukisa Kitui, he will change the country. But you will not give him. If you look for Mother Karua, she will change the country. You will not give her. So let's give the next best person. Musalem Udabadi? He will not. He doesn't have what it takes. Well, until we do have these conversations again. But he's a good man, remember. Yeah. He's All these people are good men. Mm. Ruto is good. Mm. Ndavadi is good. Mukisa Kitu is good. Raila is good. They are all Kenyans and I love them. They are good people. Mm. But just one or two of them can change this country. Mm. The rest are good people and they must stop there. Okay. Yes. They say the flesh, you said the flesh is weak. The yeah. spirit is willing. Yeah, yeah. Or is it the other way around? It is the f spirit is weak. 
but the, 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 no, spirit the spirit is willing, is willing but the, fresh, the you know, flesh I'm not a, I'm not a Christian, the flesh so. is weak <laughs> thank you so much for tuning into today's <laughs> conversation I'm here with Haman Manyara thank you if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do that join and become a member of this channel click the notification bell so that once a video comes up you'll become the first one to view it have yourself a lovely rest of your day good